was a busy day for Governor Babajide Sonolu. First, he visits Ogbae Jaye. Penn Cinema Agege to commission 48 units of the Lagos Building Investment Company apartments that will help reduce housing challenges in the state. Five years ago, structures here were demolished due to the construction of the Agege Penn Cinema flyover. Today, New apartments are being delivered to those affected by the remodeling of the Agege area. The commissioning of the Greater Lagos FBIC apartment is a testimony of Mr. Governor's commitment to the provision of affordable shelter that could stimulate the economic growth of the state. Hence, the team agenda is working. It's a good feeling for the beneficiaries as they receive their new homes. About five years ago, during the tenure of His Excellency, our flat, which we lived for almost 30 years, were demolished. We were devastated. Our hopes were lost. But we are here today to collect the keys to our apartment. Today, our joy has no measure. Governor Samoru says the handing over of keys to 14 families is a testament of his administration's commitment towards providing affordable housing for the people. Given the significance of shelter as a basic human need, this administration has been determined from day one to decisively tackle the housing challenges faced by the residents of our state. For us, this is not only about the affordability of the housing, but also about, it's not only about the availability, but it's also about the affordability. <laughs> Then he moves to Vetland Junior Grammar School, also in Agege local government area, to commission the remodeled government-owned school. The school is a technology-driven, modular learning space. Our goal as a government is to build schools of the future, public schools that are driven by cutting-edge technology and that can compete favorably with the best public and private schools anywhere in the world. Governor Samuel Lu completes his assignment for the day at the Lagos House, Alausa, where he rewarded 13 outstanding teachers selected across the six education districts with brand new SUVs. <laughs> Yeah.